In this video, I'm going to show you really quickly the main differences between the new Squarespace Fluid Engine and the previous uh, classic uh, Layout Engine editor, which we've all been used to using for the past 10 years. So um, I'm a Squarespace Circle member, which means that uh, for a limited amount of time, I still have access to the classic editor um, as well as the new Fluid Engine. So right here above in this top section this is what we're used to seeing and how we're used to using Squarespace um, you've got to use some spacer blocks if you want to add some space between this left side of the page and this image um, and then here is fluid engine so with fluid engine this is closer to what uh, you're used to seeing anywhere else with uh, or what you see is what you get editor um, there's no need for me to add a spacer block. I can just drag this wherever I want it. Now, uh, the downside with that is, well, suppose I don't have a good eye for design, right? Suppose I don't have a good eye for, like, what's a balanced position and, um, you know, what do I do then, right? Um, and I think... Uh, I like to keep things as simple as possible, but um, Squarespace is also a, you know, it's a template based platform. So starting with a template is always going to help. There's also page sections that you can use to give you a head start. And so, you know, I like to start from a blank canvas, but you're not, you don't have to start from a blank canvas. Um, so that, that hasn't changed. And then finally here, so I just showed you, you know, two things, right? I can overlay things. Um, let me send this to back, right? Bring this forward again. So there's that Z dimension. Uh, there's that fluid X and Y dimension. And then if I head over to the mobile view um, with fluid engine, I can, I can still overlay things and I can create something custom and unique for my mobile visitors, whereas with the classic editor, uh, you know, you, you can't do that. So that's, you know, that's it real in, a, in, a, in the fastest way possible. Um, one thing to note is that as it is now, there's no tablet view. So your tablet view might look a little wonky. And because it's not automatically respond, I mean, it is still automatically responsive, but because things won't line up the way you expect them to on mobile, you always have to, to check out the mobile view. That's not, that's not optional anymore. That's, that's now mandatory. So um, those are the changes. Uh, hopefully you found this video useful. Um, I've got a new podcast where I, I go a little bit deeper on some of the some of the philosophical implications of this change for, for folks who uh, work on the platform on a daily basis. So you could check that video out because it's on my YouTube channel as well. And um, I'll see you in the next video where I'm actually going to be comparing uh, the new Fluid Engine editor with Wix's editor to see how, how they match up. All right. Take care. Peace.